Hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Now, as you recall, in the last episode, I got really pissed and killed a bunch of people. Completed my contract though, so let's move on. Away from that. We gotta get our next dead drop in Castle Skingrad. Are these people putting dead drops and no one's noticing? That's in the well. I picked up my reward, next contract. Uh, I picked up my next contract from the dead drop in Castle Skingra. Well, I am in order to kill the Kijit Jagasta, who can be found at his house in Bruma. Jagasta is a master of unarmed combat, and I will prove a challenging opponent. Jagasta's expecting trouble and has paid off the guards to look the other way if our fight spills out into the city streets oh boy little does he know i'm gonna walk away from this fight the victor why can't i pay off guards to do that like holy shit like yeah yeah some shit's about to go down here's like a hundy Come on, look away. You're getting fireballed. Oh, you bitch. There we go. Can I just break into his house for no reason? No, he's in his training room. But you can't see that well. I don't recall inviting you into my house. Leave quickly, or we will have a problem. Sidnis, what is this treachery? Who sent you? I don't know who is behind this outrage, but I will have blood. To the void with you, assassin. dead. He's dead. I must pick up my reward in the next contract at the dead drop located in the rotten box under the old bridge just south of the Imperial City. He has a key, some gold. This is his secret training room where he gets robust punching the hand-to-hand -hand scale increase. Where he gets robust punching the shit out of punching bags. Did I just sent all his shit flying. We're gonna open this up. And steal his gold. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of these quests, as I stated in the Dark Brotherhood, they go by really fast. It's a damn shame, if you ask me, but... Oh, that's okay. Gotta go get our next dead drop. Thought something, yeah, something sees me. A pack of minotaurs. A literal pack. Well, blade's gonna go up, so is destruction. I don't know what a pack of minotaurs was doing. But they're dead now, so. Got another shrine over there. I forgot to get the shrine before that. My mistake. I can see it from here, so I'm going to go see what the requirements are and at least get the quest. I'll look up the other shrine location later. 
uh, locations, I should say, plural, to get all the artifacts. Oh. Oh, fuck this guy. You approach the shrine of Clavicus Vile. You should not be here unless you have business with Lord Clavicus. Here we worship Lord Clavicus. Do you have business with the Daedra? There are many deals to be made, even with the god. You could find great wealth or painful death. If you wish to bargain with Clavicus Vile, approach with an offering of 500 gold. I <sighs> hope the Lord smiles on your offering. Okay, we will do, we will do that later. I find it kind of interesting people can openly worship the Daedra. No, oh, I guess Tamriel's pretty progressive though, religious freedom and all that bullshit. An alien well. You draw power from the well. Oh, what the f Now, let's sneak up on this wizard. It was doing wizard things. Before we showed up. Dead. And I will take his ebony dagger for money. He has friends? He has friends. soul and the enchanted item does not have enough charge so we all know what that means the enchanted item is about to get recharged now this is very efficient doing it this way by the way very efficient did it say under Said on the bridge. That's right, I haven't actually been to this place before. Maybe I'll find some Nern route. This is the Imperial Dragon Bridge that just popped into view. It's a nice little place, if you ask me. It's very peaceful. Until I showed up. Gold, Dead Drop Order 4. Uh, I picked up my next contract from the Dead Drop beneath the old bridge. I have been ordered to kill an Argonian hunter named Chalez, who is holed up in the flooded mine. She is a wanted psychopath, so I should be cautious. I will be cautious. I want to hit this place up first, so. Hell's Gate. Go ahead. In the west. Goodbye. I used to admire you, but it turns out you're just a sinner like all the. Have you seen Elandra? You know, I'm just saying. I mean, you can still admire a man. He's evil. <laughs> if you notice, he is right outside of town. Actually, I also want to say, since we're a sinner, if we go... Now, okay, it shows us as a pilgrim.
pretty much forces you to break stealth. She has an enchanted weapon. Elise is dead. I must pick up my reward in the next contract at the dead drop located in the coffin outside the ruins of Fort Redmond. And short sword of winter. Winter is coming. Pretty easy. Let's get out of here. Oh shit. Oh, this is the right one. Well, something sees me. Oddly enough, it's an enemy that sees me. Okay, that's really weird. We'll repair everything up to full. And we'll go to Fort Redmond. Coffin outside of Fort Redmond is what we're looking for. There's probably going to be enemies in here. I have picked up my reward and received my next contract. I have picked up my next contract from the dead drop in the coffin outside of Fort Redmond. I have been ordered to kill Elvelvimini, a dark elf merchant who spends his time traveling around Cyrodiil. I should consult the schedule that has been left for me to determine where and when I should strike. He is a master of destruction. He is a master in the destruction and school of magicka and has killed before, but he does have a weakness. If he drinks mead, he will be rendered immobile due to a rare allergy to honey. Yeah? Well, I don't got any mead. And to be brutally honest, I could just... Oh my god, there's enemies nearby here. Uh, swim. Spam the T key until I can rest. Okay. Okay. Now, I can fast travel. We have another shrine nearby, though, so I want to go talk. Figure out which shrine this is. Oh, she a Gareth. Oh boy. This motherfucker. Pace? Not so? Here? Not here? Welcome to the Grove of Madness, stranger. Or go away. Who knows? Time will tell. Killed an ape of Osmo there. But it made me sick. Saw Lord Sheer Gorath in the vomitus, so that's all right. Here to sacrifice? A limb would be nice. Then approach the shrine. Of course, he won't appear because it's not rainy. He loves the rain. And you'll need an offering. I think a lesser soul gem, a head of lettuce, and some yarn will do the trick. That's what Shea Gorath wants. Yep. He's a special person. We watch and wait. Now I can fast travel. I also need to point out that he's the guy you deal with in the Shivering Isles. It's one of my favorite expansions. Besides Blood Moon. But that's Morrowind, so...
It's okay. Alright, now we are here. Now... Did he... No. Now, he does have a travel itinerary. Yes, he walks between the cities. A couple of them. Nothing stopping you from going up and just killing him in here, which is what I'm going to do. Might buy him some mead, though. You get me closer and I'll turn your bones to ash. Now, I have no time. Oh, okay, dickhole. I've killed a very uh, guy. I must pick up my reward in the next contract at the dead drop located in the market district of the Imperial City in a hollowed out tree stump behind Stonewall Shields. He has a dagger, which is now mine, and gold. I'm going to make a quick run to Frostcrag to drop off my loot. We've been doing good so far. We're 16 minutes in this episode, and we've massacred a lot of people. Yeah, I wasn't joking. This is going to be very short. Not to say that I don't enjoy it. It's fun. I'm having fun. You should be having fun, too. You'd have more fun playing this game. You should go play it. You never played it. Okay, we got that done. Go into here. What does the most damage? Still my long sword. Yep. Eh. If I need money, I'll... That dagger... Eh. None of that. Okay. I just wanted to lower my carry weight a tiny bit. We do this quest-a-thon. Oh, it's going to be awesome when we do the, uh... The Daedric stuff as well. Greetings to you. Even though I have already done one. I'm listening. Being able to do the rest, however. That stump was not there before. Picked up the next picked up my reward, next contract. Uh I've been ordered to go to the campsite in Null Mountain and kill whore blood. A savage Nord barbarian skilled in the use of an axe. I can fast travel right to it and kill him. That's another thing about getting map markers. And he's hostile to me. Take your axe. He's dead. I must now pick up my reward in the next contract with a dead drop located in an old chest that is sunk into the pool at the Iliad Ruin of Nornal. I have not been to that yet. That's okay. It's a stone store away from the cracked wood cave, though, and I passed it several times. All I gotta do is run. Now, as a really um interesting thing, if you fast travel to all the towns and only did quests like out or just did like stuff in towns and you know, just fast traveled without doing my rule of going somewhere first 
before fast traveling and you didn't go along the roads. Admittedly, these quests would take a lot longer. Um, my horse is unconscious now. The enemies can still see me. Okay. Do I have to act? I have to actually go in here. Well, we're... how deep do I have to go? Oh, not that far. Average gate. Sunken chest. Gold. Dead drop order seven. I must go to the city of Breville and lie in wait near the ancient statue known as the Lucky Old Lady. A wood elf named Gilim visits the statue every night around 5 p.m. and 1 a.m. to make a wish, as is the local custom. When I see him, I must kill him. I should be warned, however, that Ugalim has been alerted to the danger, and if he senses an assassin, he will probably attack on sight. He has also bribed the guards to look the other way if there is a fight. Perhaps a stealth approach would work best. I agree. No, I'm good. And I can fast travel to Breville. Uh, 5 p.m. and 1 a.m. No one. Ha 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 He's dead. I must now journey to the city of Anvil and pick up my reward in my next contract at the dead drop there. It is located in the barrel just behind the pond in the city of Anvil. No. No! I thought I could get here in time. I could stop you. I see. What? What have you done? What madness has claimed you? You have betrayed me. You have betrayed the Dark Brotherhood. Why? I am here to end your miserable life. To. But. You. I can see the confusion in your eyes. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Your first dead drop contract, you carried that out, killed Sarah Jane. After that, you eliminated the Raccoons family, as ordered. Then, betrayal. Your dead drops were invisible. Your targets ignored. Instead, you've been systematically killing off all the members of the Black Hand. What? Jagasta, Chalise, Uval Uvani, Hyvelstein Horblood, Speakers and Silencers all, and Ungong, the Listener himself. The surviving members of the Black Hand know you're innocent. They know you are only following orders. They believe I am the traitor. The traitor somehow switched your orders has been sending you to the wrong dead drops. You and I have been deceived. We must find out who is behind this betrayal. We haven't much time. I'm hunted day and night by the Black Hand. They want me dead. Here is what you must do. Go now to your next dead drop. Lie in wait and confront whomever drops off the false contract. Uncover the true traitor's identity, and then 
Come see me. I'll be in hiding. Fort Barrett is no longer secure. It's under watch by the Black Hand. I'll wait for you in every watch. The farm where you killed the old Draconis woman. It should be empty and safe. Now go. And may Sithis help us all. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, Boa Winter. I've been killing the wrong people this entire time. Well, if these guys were all dark... Actually, let me make sure. Let's see if... Eh. Eh. They both do the same. Okay. I gotta go to the next dead drop location and be stealthy because, you know, it wasn't Luchance that was giving me dead drop. Locations. Where do you want me to go? Oh, inside the actual city itself. I shall wait. You. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. It was the robed man. He... He paid me to put those things in the barrel. I don't know his name, and his face was in shadow. He called to me yesterday as I walked by the lighthouse. I think he lives there. Or he did, anyway. He told me he was leaving Anvil. I'm sorry, but that's all I know. No, please! The lighthouse, just outside the city walls. I think the robed man lives there, in... in the cellar. I don't know what goes on down there, but there's a horrible smell coming from underneath that door. It's like something died inside. Listen, that's all I know, really. Maybe Ulthar Fogai can tell you more. He's the lighthouse keeper and probably rented out the cellar. Talk, talk to Ulthgar. He's sure to have the key to the cellar. You know, if, if you want to get down there. Now, please, just let me go. Just, just leave me alone. Curious what letter eight says. Okay. Now I gotta go to the lighthouse. That's what I was remembering. That's what the lighthouse does. Let's go in. Let's get the key. Oh, it wants me to go outside again. Uh, what? Oh, it wants me to go up to the tower to talk to the old man. Hi. Well now, what might you want? Oh, do you now? And 
just why should I give you that? The Dark Brotherhood? Oh, okay, okay. Here, here's the key. Just don't hurt me. I, I won't say a word, I swear. If you're here to kill that fellow in the cellar, then, then good. I won't call the guards or nothing. He's doing uh, unnatural things down there. I've heard the screams and the smell. I never should have rented out that cellar. Never. I've obtained the key to the Anvil Lighthouse cellar where the trader has been living. I must unlock the cellar door and proceed down so I may continue in my investigation. I'm glad he won't say a thing to anyone. Or else I might kill him. Where is the uh... What? Oh, it's litter. Okay. I thought. <gasps> Excuse me. I thought the cellar was att attached. <sighs> you heard a yawn. I thought the cellar was attached to the house. Dead dog. Being entered to the Anvil Lighthouse cellar, I must now search the cellar for some clue to the Dark Brotherhood trader's identity or motives. A dead sheep. A zombie. An owned bed. Praise dog. Sorry, buddy. What the fuck? Oh, come on, I can't read that. I have discovered the trader's diary. He has been in a dark brotherhood 
in the Dark Brotherhood for years and is now a member of the Black Hand. His goal is revenge against Lucy and Lachance and all of the Brotherhood for the murder of his mother when he was a child. He actually plans on killing the Night Mother. I must return to Lucy and Lachance at once at the farm called Apple Watch and give him this information. Yeah. Oh. I did not notice this person when I walked in. Hi. Can I move you? Dead. That, that diary admittedly disturbed me. Well, let's go follow the lead. Let's go to Apple Watch. 30 minutes, and we're like, you know, halfway done with this, unfortunately. More than half. Oh, fuck. Silence you. At last you've arrived. Fear not, for the crisis that has threatened the Dark Brotherhood has finally come to an end. I am Arkwin, speaker for the Black Hand. As you can see, we have dealt with the betrayer, Lucien Lachance. No longer will you serve as his puppet. It seems Lachance wanted revenge against the Dark Brotherhood for some reason, and used you to do his dirty work. But now we can begin anew. I bestow upon you the title of Speaker. You will take Lucien Lachance's place on the Black no. Hand. Welcome. It wasn't him. As you know, the Black Hand is now in a state of disarray. Lachance ordered you to kill us off. We five, including you, are now all that remain. Even worse, you killed the listener. The Black Hand without a listener is like a hand with no thumb. Even the listener's successor is dead. So... We have no choice but to invoke an ancient ritual. We must wake the Night Mother from her slumber and seek her guidance. Between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m., ask me about the Night Mother, and we will away to Our Lady's home. Only then will the ritual begin. When we confronted La Chance, he tried to defend himself, tried to declare his innocence. But we would not hear his treacherous lies. As you can see, he was no match for the combined power of the Black Hand, even weakened as we are. Hmm. May we forever serve the Night Mother. Greetings, fellow speaker. You are like an unholy vision. Hello, fellow. You should take some time to admire his corpse. It really is a... May you always walk in the shadow of death. Is he missing his... Jesus Christ, he wasn't the bad guy. Uh... 9 3 a.m. This is where it gets a little weird, in my opinion. Because it's like, dude, we got, like, proof on us, but... Dear speaker, you must understand our... Oh, that's right, 3 a.m. The Night Mother must be awakened, so that we may seek her guidance. Very good, and so it begins, the Black Hand's journey into a darkness few can imagine. Let us be off. The Night Mother awaits. You're about to teleport me, aren't you? Bitch. What? Behold the Night Mother. The locals call this statue the lucky old lady. They have no idea how no. they really are. 
for this stone effigy masks the entrance into the Dark Brotherhood's most revered unholy site, the Crypt of the Night Mother herself. In a moment, we will begin. I will recite an incantation, and we can proceed down into the crypt and seek an audience with the Night Mother. I know this is all very overwhelming, dear child. Just follow along, and you'll be fine. Now, let's go see what the future holds, shall we? Unholy nature! We of the Black Hand beseech you! Reveal yourself now, most magnificent Night Mother, so that we may seek your guidance! There's a... Well met, your mate. Run, dude, run! <laughs> like, fucking guy over there, you saw a guard in the background, bunch of dude with people with hooded robes and torches. Uh Okay. The incantation has revealed the hidden door in the Night Mother's Crypt. I must follow the other members of the Black Hand down into the crypt. Once we're down there, the traitor will surely try to destroy the Night Mother. I must stop the traitor at all costs. Yes, it is one of these people, I believe. They go in. Now I go in. Holy Maiden, please, we beg your mercy in this our time of need. The Black Hand seeks your guidance. Ah, yes, I have been expecting you. The listener now kneels by Sphinx and does his obsession with the Age of Patience. The traitor is dead, dear brother. We have come now to ask your blessing. Anoint one of us your listener so we can restore the Black Hand. Foolish traitor. Lucia Machado serves be dying death. The Black Hand remains tainted by his fame. Desperation is impossible. Enough of this. You will all suffer for the pain you have caused me. I will destroy your night mother and the dark brother <coughs> of the What? What took you? The traitor still lives. It is Master Delamar. Do not let him harm the night mother. Kill him. I'm gonna The traitor Ayu Bellamont is dead and the crisis that has plagued the Dark Brotherhood is now over. The Night Mother still needs to name a new listener. I should wait and hear what she has to say. I will take your dagger though. I'll take your one of these robes even do. Nothing I care about, unfortunately. So, at last we meet. I have been following your strange journey through the Dark Brotherhood, Night Mother. In your killing of the old man Vader, the execution of Adamus Glove, the way you stalked and murdered each member of the Draconis family. Your purification of the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. You, a mere underling, even managed to single-handedly eliminate half of my black hand. I know, dear child, I know. You carried out your orders to the letter in the name of the black hand. How could I be anything but happy with you? No, my anger lies with the rest of my children. You see, I have known of Matthew Dalmar's intentions since he was just a boy. I knew of his thirst for vengeance. I could have informed my listener, but I refused. Refused to reward such incompetence. Ungald was weak. Indeed, I allowed Matthew Dalmar to proceed on his destructive course, just as I allowed you to intercept him. Yes, dear child, yes. The Dread Father foresaw it all. You were meant to kill the traitor. You were meant to remain to listen of the Black Hand. You could 
is as strong as the cunning, and a heart as black as midnight. You were marked by sickness the moment you emerged from your mother's womb. Right. You will get what you desire, but first, meditate upon all that has transpired. Perhaps you covered treasure. Take all my cryptos to offer. When you are ready, speak with me again, and I will deliver you safely to the only place you can truly call home. The Chaden Hall Sanctuary. There is much work to be done. When you return to the Sanctuary, speak with our Queen. She will serve as your humble servant and guide. Loot. Oh. Loot. Oh, this is some real loot now. Take that, I'll take that. What else you got in here? Eh. You got a book. You got a book. You got... Ooh. You got anything else? The Night Mother wishes... No. You've returned. I trust you've weighed the importance of your new position. For you will soon hear words that will change lives, alter destinies. And I hope you've taken everything you desire from my crypt. Once you leave, you will be unable to return. Now, are you ready to begin your new life? Ew. Before I send you away, however, I would like to present to you a rather special reward. I see you still possess the Blade of War, the weapon given you by Lucy and your chance when we first met. Allow me now to unlock its true power. Yes, you will now find the Blade of War a bit more. Now go. Leave this crypt and serve our dread father till your dying breath. We've been teleported back to the Chandel Sanctuary. I should speak now. will serve as my servant and guide me in the days to come. We also have unlocked the full power of the Blade of Woe. It only does seven damage. It's a little disappointing. And it demoralizes so they might run away. I just wanted to do it for completionist's sake. Honored listener, I offer myself as your humble servant and guide. Please allow me to mentor you in your new role. Here's what I believe we should do next. I will stay here and attempt to reestablish this sanctuary. I will begin recruiting new members. You must fulfill your new duties. The statue in Breville serves as a conduit between the Night Mother and the listener. Once a week, you must visit the statue. Talk to it. You will be presented with a list of names and locations. These are people who have prayed to the Night Mother. They request a visit from a speaker to arrange someone's assassination. All you need to do is visit the statue once a week, get the list of names and locations, and pass it on to me here in the sanctuary. Do this, and I will give you your share of the sanctuary's weekly earnings. There's so much work to be done. So much work. Greetings, my I don't even know what, but he's certainly in a better place now. Lucien Lachance is. Wow, you're a bitch. Under your leadership, the Black Hand will reign. <sighs> hey, Mr. Skeletal's back. And I hate to say it, that's it for the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah. 
didn't take a long time. Unfortunately, I will admit I did run through a lot of it, but that is what happens when you've unlocked a lot of the fast travel locations and can just teleport around everywhere. In terms of items I got, well, not the greatest. Probably never going to use any of them. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I like the gold, though. We'll sell the Bow of Winter. We'll sell the Dagger of Numbing. We'll sell the Battle Axe of Winter. We'll keep the Blade a while, just because. We'll sell the Mace of Fracturing. Sell these. So War Axe of the Dymo. I'll hang on to those just again because they're unique. Now this gives me spell consumption. Except it doesn't do as much. So it gets sold. This gets sold as well. You need some sure room. Can you believe that a thief broke in? Yeah, I was that thief, by the way. Now we can go home to Frostcrag. What do we have to do next, you're thinking? Oh, well, we got the main quest. That key is broken. But, we got the main quest. I'll deposit that. I'll deposit these. Um... I guess I can keep everything else. Uh, we're fully repaired. We are good to go for the next thing we do. What is the next thing we're going to do? That is a good question. I'll have to think about that. And that that's it. I mean, incredibly short. Took less than... God, I don't know. Less than maybe four episodes to do, but it wasn't a lot of travel. Go here, kill X. Wasn't, wasn't that many dungeons to go into. It, admittedly in Skyrim, it, there was a lot of dungeons with that entire thing. So it got pretty, uh, pretty challenging at times. And it just took a while. In this one, not so much dungeons. You're killing people. I mean, most people don't chill in a dungeon. The exception of the few we were in. And even then, it wasn't a kill everything. It was sneak through it. Still incredibly fun, though. I enjoyed it. But, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Oblivion. And in the next one, I'll figure out what I'm doing. Bye-bye.